Hello and welcome to Medicine by Chips. Today we will be learning about the examination of the heart sounds. Heart sounds are produced due to the opening and closing of the heart valves. There are four heart sounds S1, S2, S3, and S4. First of all, we have S1. S1 is produced due to the closure of the mitral valve at the beginning of the ventricular systole. Then there is S2. S2 the second heart sound is produced due to the closure of aortic and pulmonary valves at the end of the ventricular systole. Then there is H3. This is the third heart sound. It is a lower pitch sound and it is often heard in young athletic subjects and healthy pregnant mothers. And it can also be heard in the patient of heart disease, for example, the patient of heart failure. The splitting of the heart sound into four components is more evident during inhalation then it is in exhalation for listening the heart sound we use a device called as a stethoscope we should know the correct way of using the stethoscope here is the stethoscope this is its earpiece we should always direct the earpiece forwards and not backwards we should also put the earpiece into the ear canal while uh, directing it forward and not backwards on the other hand, we have two parts of the stethoscope. One is called as the diaphragm and the other one is called the bell. The diaphragm is used for listening the high pitch sounds such as the heart sounds while the bell is used for lower pitch sounds. Now, what is the correct sequence of auscultation or hearing the heart sound? First of all, we should hear the first heart sound. To best hear the first heart sound, we place the diaphragm of stethoscope into the mitral area. What is the mitral area? It is basically in the left fifth intercostal space. Then we move on to the tricuspid area also in the left fifth intercostal space. Now we jump on to the second heart sound. To best hear the second heart sound, we place the diaphragm of stethoscope in the left second intercostal space in the pulmonary area and then on to the right side of sternum into the right second intercostal space the aortic area now while concluding we should keep in mind these parameters first of all we should compare the uh, compare the heart sound in all these stethoscopic position during quiet breathing slow and deep inhalation and slow exhalation we should also note the change in characteristic of these heart sound during inhalation and exhalation we should also focus on the events of the cardiac cycle. Students should remember that the ventricular systole lies between the period between S1 and S2 and the diastole lies between the S2 and S1. Now we will be performing our the Now we will be performing the examination of heart sound on our subject Kashif Shadat, the medicine by Chips himself. First of all, as we all know that during any procedure, first of all, we should take consent from the subject. Now, approach the subject from the right position. Now, first of all, we should find the jugular notch. It lies between the two clavicles. From the jugular notch, you should move towards the sternum and find the first bony prominence. This is our sternal angle or angle of slois. From the angle of slois, laterally arises the second rib. This is our second rib. Below the second rib is the second intercostal space, then comes the third rib, then comes the third intercostal space, then comes the fourth rib, below that is the fourth intercostal space, then comes the fifth rib, and th then below it comes the fifth intercostal space. First of all, as we as I told you the correct sequence of auscultation, first of all, we should start with the mitral area. Where did the mitral valve area lie? Yes, you are right. It lied in the left fifth intercostal space. Now we will be examining the heart sounds. In the correct sequence of auscultation, first of all, we have the mitral area. For best listening the first heart sound, we place the diaphragm of the stethoscope into the mitral area in the left fifth intercostal space. You can always take time and may close your eyes for added concentration. From the mitral valve area, now should, you should move to the tricuspid area for examining the heart sounds. In both these areas, you can examine the first heart sound. 
For best listening the second heart sound, you should move on to the left second intercostal space in the pulmonary area. And also in the right second intercostal space in the aortic area. So it was all about the examination of heart sound. If you have any query, please ask in the comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel, share with your friends and we will meet you in the next video. Allah Hafiz.